Well, hello, glorious people of the interwebs, and welcome back to Red Dead Online. I hope you're all doing well. It's 2020, and happy New Year's to all of you out there. And I figured it's time to do another one of these videos where we talk about the future of Red Dead Online. It's been a very long time since we've actually done a video like this, and now that we're into the new year, I would really like to discuss the future of Red Dead Online and things that we'd like to see uh, to really help improve the game. So I do hope you all enjoy this video. It's going to be more of a podcast-style video, nothing too crazy happening on screen. Uh, so if you just want to listen, then that is perfectly fine. We're just going to be doing some hunting here to level up good old Cripsy Poo, but unfortunately... We're in a full lobby server, which means animal spawns are not going to be very high over here. Um, but thankfully, they do seem to have improved a little bit over the past couple days, at least on the PC side. Uh, but regardless, that is going to be the first thing that we're going to discuss today. And I'm not going to discuss it for too long, because this is basically like beating a dead horse at this point. Uh, we've had server issues with this game since beta. It's been over a year, and very few things have actually improved in that respect and it's, it's honestly kind of disappointing at this point um but one thing that i would really like to see happen in 2020 for red dead online is a change to the servers if they can't at least fix the servers make the animal spawns work um because we don't know if it's actually peer-to-peer -peer or if it's dedicated servers or what exactly they're using uh rumor is that they are still using peer-to-peer -peer, which is gonna be the reasoning for why uh, there's so many issues with both hackers and just general issues with gameplay like black screens animal spawns dynamic events not working it's just because the peer-to-peer -peer networks is just not very good um but regardless of how the game is running whether it's peer-to-peer -peer or dedicated we do know that solo lobbies work perfectly. When you're playing in a solo lobby, there's tons of animal spawns. There are... Everything works exactly the way it's supposed to. And quite frankly, it feels like a completely different game. Now, I know solo or private lobbies is not what Rockstar wants to do for this particular game. Uh, so I'm not going to say that we absolutely need private sessions. While well, that would make the majority of the people happy uh, to play the game with private sessions. Uh, what I would like to see at the very least, if they don't want to incorporate private sessions, is to reduce the amount of players in a session. Now, I would like to see them give the option for this. Not just a complete across the board reduction in um, the amount of players that can be in a session at once but giving players the option i think the option when you can't fix your game uh, giving people an option for a version of the game that actually works that might not be the full-blown version that they wanted is a really good idea at this point because it's both beneficial to rockstar and to the player base to offer the choice for players to play in sessions with less people because the sessions with less people it's been proved time and time again that it works significantly better we've already gotten server sessions that are reduced from 32 players to around 20 to 23 is usually the max that i ever see on a server now so if they've already reduced it that much i think having the option to play on a session that has maybe 16 being the most from my experience around 12 is like the perfect number 12 people in a session everything works perfectly um there might be some degradation in animal spawns and stuff like that but it's still a massive improvement than what you typically have um uh, but 12 12 everything works great 16 you're gonna have some issues uh, but it's still gonna be a hell of a lot better than it is now and this has been proved over and over and over. I've done tons of testing in my own sessions where I create a solo lobby, invite people to the solo lobby, and everything works perfectly well until about the 16 player mark, and then you start seeing uh, quite a bit of degradation. 12 is like perfect though. Uh, so what I would like to see is Rockstar, if they're not going to incorporate solo lobbies or private sessions or anything like that, then I would like to see them give the, uh, the choice for players to be like, okay, I want to be able to play with more people, so I'm going to play on a broken server that barely works or i want to play with slightly less people but have the experience that rockstar has intended for the game and this will prevent many people from quitting the game and everybody will enjoy it at least a little bit more which i think the game sorely needs at this point because i've been saying for months like the last thing rockstar needs with red dead online is more bad publicity for it and quite frankly the the updates they've been providing have been really good i love the moonshiner role when it's working um, I do have a lot of ideas for improvements in the roles that I think should be incorporated. We'll be discussing that here in a little bit. Um, but we're going to stop talking about the servers now, just because it's basically beating a dead horse at this point, or a dead server. Um, so I do want to see many improvements with the servers from here on out. 
Um, but next thing on the list, I want to see improvements to the roles and expansions upon the roles. 20 levels is... It's not really a lot of content. You can get through those 20 levels very quickly when you're not dealing with server issues. And um, I would like to see the roles actually get expanded and evolved, as they've mentioned before. Even if it's slow stuff, like every time they incorporate a new role, just add like five new levels to one of the roles. Where it doesn't necessarily have to give you new gameplay, but it's giving you new content to unlock. Like, um, for instance, if with the Moonshiner, the next time they incorporate a new role, you can add four, five more levels to the Moonshiner where you can expand your bar even further, like including more gambling into the bar so you can uh, unlock an additional expansion uh, to be able to do like Liar's Dice or Blackjack, Poker, uh, Five Finger Filet. And I know those aren't even in the game right now, so that is another addition that I want to see, is more options for poker stuff, not only maybe even at your camp, but within the Moonshine Bar and in towns. That way you can have more ways to play with the people that are on the server or within your own posse. Because uh, right now, you can just basically grind missions. Uh, poker, I mean, you can play poker for a very long time, but it's going to get boring after a while. But having some of these different gambling types would be really nice. So that's a really easy way to expand that particular role, at least a little bit, in my opinion. And, I mean, this can be done with all the roles, like uh, adding five levels to the Bounty Hunter. And maybe you get, like, blinders for your horse that uh, reduce your horse's fear. I was playing uh, The Witcher the other day, and that is one of the items that you can unlock for your horse. And I was like, you know, this would be brilliant for Red Dead Online, because we do always have issues with the horse being afraid. But it might be nice to be able to unlock something through the Bounty Hunter, which makes sense, where your horse spooks less. Uh, with the blinders on and stuff like that and it'll help with like animals and hunting and stuff like that too so I would like to see uh, a slow growth in the jobs this gator is humping the mud that's a little strange and uh, like with the trader role um, a lot of people have been saying you know I really want to see the trapper roles incorporated back into Red Dead Online um, and having all that clothing an easy expansion for the trader role if you add five more levels then you can add like a clothing department to it where you can craft all of the uh, the trapper clothing that was included in single player I mean the, the stuff is already there all it needs to do is be added to Red Dead Online and then we can make that through the trader and not only to sell but to use for ourselves because uh, right now the trader believe it or not is one of the well the trader and the bounty hunter are both the least lucrative jobs in the game um so these these little benefits would not only help you make maybe a little bit more money but add some immersion being able to craft your own gear and stuff like that i know a lot of people would really really appreciate that and there's just quite frankly so many little things that could be added to really improve the game and i'd like to see the slow evolution of these roles um because i know we got the moonshiner which is like an addition to the trader and that might be considered like the first evolution of the trader um but i would like to see the roles themselves expanded on rather than just like you know getting it 20 more levels to grind through with another job Another thing that I would really like to see with the Moonshiner role or an expansion of the Moonshiner pub uh, would be to have an underground fight club. I've been pitching for this forever. How awesome would it be to be able to settle disputes in free roam by being able to, like, you know, invite somebody to your pub and fight down in your, like, fight club arena. And then you can have, like, players in the sessions actually being able to watch that and just... In general, it could even be a role having like this underground boxing club where you can make money and you could you could bet on fights and stuff like that. It would be a really amazing addition to the game. And I think it would just add some really, really great role play opportunities. Not only that, but PvP, you know, fist fights. It's really fun to have like a fight club. I've done it many times in the past. I'll be doing many more in the future, but having like a legit way to put something on like that would be really nice it'd be freaking awesome actually another thing that i would like to see is actually gunslinger like being able to challenge people to duels and having like gunslinger leaderboards where um you could end up becoming like a notorious gunslinger and people might want to actually search the server for you and challenge you to duels it'd be a much more fun way to incorporate pvp into free roam by being able to create these little like competitions and things and I know there's just so many little things that they can add to free roam and that's another thing that i want to mention is 
Uh, one thing that I've been talking about for a long time is improving the way that free roam events are done in the game. Oh god, stupid bird! I'm just trying to get the bird! And I kept targeting that stupid gator. There we go. Uh, but I would like to see true free roam events. And some specific ones at that. So for true free room events, like, I don't like the system that's currently in the game where you get invited and then you have to leave your session and go into a different session and then complete that. And sometimes you just get disconnected and booted out. It's a little bit of a nightmare. Um, I Obviously, they can keep that uh, like style stuff in the game, but I would really, really like to see... Um, some actual dynamic event free roam events for... Oh, this guy's getting all the little baby gators. I come over to this location uh, to, oh, to hunt these guys down. There we go. Uh, these little baby gators can give you quite a bit of stuff for crypts. I like setting up my camp literally like right there. And just hunt these little baby gators and you can fill them up super duper quick. Um, but some things that I would like to see. So defending towns. Like maybe you have uh, like the Del Lobos going down and trying to rob or just pillage like Tumbleweed or Armadillo. Or, you know, the the O'Driscolls attacking Valentine. And then you can see this alert like Valentine's getting attacked. And you can decide to go in and, you know, help prevent the attack. Or maybe you could go in if you're playing that outlaw role. You could help the O'Driscolls and gain... Imagine being able to gain reputation with the free roam gangs. That would be a little... That'd be a whole different level of stuff, but that just kind of popped into my head now. But uh, regardless, being able to have these events would be really fun. Like, not only defending towns, but defending, like, train robberies. And you can either help out the, the robbers and try and make some extra money by robbing the train with them. Or you could defend it and gain, like, reputation and money that way. Or as, like, a reward for saving the the train uh you could do the same thing with stage coaches you could do jailbreaks like one thing that i was really disappointed about with the um the bounty hunter was like you get these legendary bounties and you bring them back and then nobody tries to save them like you got hundreds and hundreds of people attacking you and sacrificing their lives for this legendary bounty and then you take them to jail and they just completely forget about them it would be really cool if if the if the server like recognized which bounties which legendary bounties were brought in and then maybe even have dynamic events where um like say somebody's trying to rescue one of the legendary bounties from jail and you have to like defend this or try and break them out as well there's some really cool ways they can incorporate these like free roam events to be really immersive and just adding into the free roam content because imagine just going around hunting and then suddenly being like getting there at the last minute and being like that last person that they need to defend the town it'd feel really good to come in and save the day like that there's a lot of different things that they could do Obviously, we need lots and lots of server improvements. Um, and the one thing that's really strange about it is just that so many people have so many different experiences with Red Dead Online. Like, some people have never even had any disconnect issues. So, some more communication from Rockstar on what exactly their setup is that they're testing all this stuff on. And telling us what we need to do to actually make that happen. To experience it the way that other people have that had had no issues and stuff like that. And it's just very interesting to see the differences that everybody's having within the game. Um, but that's kind of what I would like to see for 2020. I mean, I have a ton of more ideas and things that I would like to see. But definitely in 2020, seeing improvements to the roles, some expansions within the roles. So it's not just 20 levels. Because quite frankly, it's just not a lot of content. I'd like to see them evolved a little bit more. Having some more options to be able to play with your posse with um, gambling and stuff like that. Having it inside the bar would be really nice. And then improving free roam events definitely would be a nice bonus. And maybe even seeing some changes in dynamic events so that we get new ones. But regardless, that is all I've got for today. I hope you all enjoyed the video. It's definitely one of these more podcast style videos that you haven't done in a while. Uh, but if you did enjoy it or liked what I had to say about it, feel free to like, uh, smash that like button. Leave some things down below what you would like to see in Red Dead Online in the future. I hope you all have a wonderful new year. And I'll see you all in the next one.